Minnesota State Nursing Assistant Skill videos. Unit 5, Vital Signs and Oxygen Safety. Skill 10, Blood Pressure Manual. Blood pressure is an important indicator of health. The blood pressure shows how well the heart is working. Disposable gloves should be worn if the resident has draining wounds or the skin is broken on the arm where the blood pressure equipment is placed. Supplies for Skill 10, taking a manual blood pressure, includes a blood pressure cuff, a stethoscope, alcohol wipes, and paper and pen to record results. Critical steps must be completed correctly to pass this skill. Be sure to complete the standard pre-steps upon entering the room. Clean the earpieces and diaphragm of the stethoscope with alcohol wipes. Assist the resident to a comfortable position in a better chair. Loosen clothing from the resident's arm and position arm with palm up and upper arm exposed. Locate the brachial artery on the inner area of the arm. Bend of elbow. Place the blood pressure cuff snugly around the upper arm. The cuff should be approximately one inch above the bend of the arm with the arrow pointed directly to the brachial artery. Place the earpieces of the stethoscope in your ears. Direct the earpieces toward your nose. Feel for the brachial artery on the inner area of the arm, which is located where the elbow bends. Place the diaphragm of the stethoscope over the brachial artery. Tighten the thumb screw of the valve on the rubber ball clockwise with your dominant hand. Inflate the cuff and raise the needle on the dial to approximately 160 millimeters or 180 millimeters of mercury. If a bead is heard immediately upon cuff deflation, completely deflate the cuff and wait one minute to retake the blood pressure or use the other arm if appropriate. Reinflate the cuff to no more than 200 millimeters of mercury or inflate the cuff to 30 millimeters of mercury beyond where the bead was last heard. Open the thumb screw of the valve slightly. Allow air to escape and the needle to drop about 2 to 4 millimeters per second. Watch the gauge carefully. Listen and read the first clear sound heard, which is the systolic reading. Allow the air to continue escaping slowly. Listen carefully for the last sound, which is called the diastolic reading. Loosen the thumb screw quickly and release all air from the cuff. Remove the cuff and stethoscope. To retake a blood pressure, never reinflate the cuff without releasing all the air and waiting for one minute. Wash your hands, report and record the blood pressure within a plus or minus six millimeters of instructor's reading. Don't forget to complete the standard post steps before leaving the room.